Hey everyone, this is Chris once again with another video. This time I am going to show you some some things with the Xiaomi Mi Box. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, go ahead and check that out, the unboxing. Um, this video more specifically is going to involve how to enable side loading um, of apps, apps that are not found in the Google Play Store. All right, so you have here the Mi Box home screen of the Android TV. We are going to go down to settings, okay? And first, we're also going to enable, um, if you want to, the developer options. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you that real quick. You're gonna go into the about, go all the way down to build. This applies to every Android device. So you can do this on and any uh, phone that you may have or tablet, go ahead and click on the uh, build about four or five times, and then it's going to show up saying developer options have been enabled. Go down all the way to the right. There is your developer options. Okay. So next we are going to enable the unknown sources, so that way we can sideload our apps. So we're going to go into security restrictions, which is all the way down at the bottom. Go to unknown, unknown sources. We want to have that on, which I already have. And that's all you need. Okay. And next is you are going to need the, like a SD card, micro SD card. Um, that way you can uh, put a APK file onto it, which I'll show you in just a moment. Alright guys, we're here at your computer. This is a Surface. I have a micro SD plugged into a USB adapter. So that way we can download our APK file onto it. So I know one of you are, you may have some questions. Well, can you browse the internet on Android TV? Well, I'm not sure why you would want to do that just because you have your smartphone, usually your tablet nearby, It'd probably be a much easier, faster, better experience. So, you know what, I thought I'd give it a try, and in the same process, show you how you can sideload a APK file, okay? So, we have APK mirror. Um, I first do not condone um, pirating, downloading paid apps illegally. I fully advise and support developers, um, pay for the apps um, through the Play Store, um, support them. But APK Mirror is a site for all free apps um, in case if you, you want to have the latest um, update for a specific app that hasn't been pushed to your device yet, or if you want to um, back up and install an older version of an app, um, let's say, that's also something you can do with APK Mirror. Um, so first, I'm just going to try installing Chrome. Um, you go to the site, you can search um, in their search box, um, select Chrome. So since there's several different variants, um, ARM architecture for CPU, different um, Android versions, NuGet, um, minimum requirements. So we know the Mi Box is running Marshmallow 6.0.1, um, actually. Um, so we're going to want to use a... Um, a version that supports 6.0 at least, but also has the correct architecture that the Mi Box is running. Um, so we know it is running an ARM architecture, um, minimum 5.0, so that's perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and select that. Go ahead and download the APK. And then once it gives you the option, we're going to want to save the APK file onto the flash drive that you have plugged in. So I went ahead and have um, that saved to that location. Okay, just going to take a second. We can go over to your APK, um, confirm that it is confirmed downloaded. We see Android Chrome on there here. Now we're going to go ahead and plug this flash drive over to our Mi Box and get this installed. Alright guys, we're here at 
your Android TV Mi Box. Um, so what you're going to first need to do is actually install a file explorer. So first go to your Google Play Store. Okay, you can actually search File Explorer. All right, um, whichever File Explorer that you want to use is perfectly fine. I just installed ES File Explorer since I have some experience with that on other Android devices. All right, so since I went ahead and installed that already, you can go down, open your File Explorer. Okay, it'll bring you to this screen. You're going to want to actually go over to your SD card, which is going to be next to your internal storage. Okay, you're going to go ahead and select that. And here is the APK file of Google Chrome. So you have that on, I just put on the root directory of the um, flash drive, easy to find it. You're going to go ahead and select that, press down, and then right to go to the install option and then we're gonna go and click on install again I've never tried this so I don't know if it's actually going to work um, whether you're gonna be able to run it or how the experience is going to be so again this is gonna be <laughs> you're seeing it first real time with me so we'll see how this runs alright so actually installed successfully so that's a good sign we're gonna go to done just go to home Let's see if it shows up first in, no, it does not. So it doesn't show up in the actual apps um, here. Um, I have had issues of that happening with other apps. We're going to go to actually go to settings. You have to go to apps and then you can see the Chrome here that's showing it's installed and you just press open. Okay, so we see that it has actually opened up. We're gonna go ahead and continue. Again, this is kind of clunky using the Xiaomi, re, uh, Xiaomi remote here. Um, all the search, uh, search options are here. Um, you can just try going to, let's see if this works here, hang on. Again, very clunky to use. I don't know why you would want to use a web browser on your TV, but hey, some of you may want that. <laughs> so just a little bit of lag just because it was um, syncing all of my um, Google Chrome information onto the um, the Mi Box here. Um, by the way, in case you guys are curious, I'm recording this from a Honor 8, um, just to give you an idea of what this is like. So let's go ahead and just, for the fun of it, sure, Honda, why not? So you have the full page, it looks like the mobile version. I am using the up and down arrow to scroll, okay, but there's not going to be much else you can really do besides scrolling. Um, there's really no way to, again, at least on this website, um, I can't really show a full listing of how every website is going to interact with, with this, but that is how to sideload an APK file onto your Xiaomi Mi Box. Again, this is Chris. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, learned a lot. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And also, please subscribe. This is a new channel for me, so hopefully you, I'll be uh, posting some new videos um, regularly. Again, thanks again.